the story of, of New World Foods? Because it's very much, as I hinted at, a story about a family. It is a story about, a, uh, it's, a, it's a story about my family. So it began in 1978 when my eldest uncle came into Canada and he got into the organic food business. And at that point, he st started a whole bunch of retail stores. We didn't follow a trend. We've been doing it before organic foods and eating healthy was a trend. So, that's what, so when we go out and sell our products, people see that, that we're not just out there saying, okay, buy organic, we live and breathe that, that's what we're selling. Ratan, how? How did, how did your uncle, I'm sure you've had these discussions mm -hmm. a lot, how did he know? What, what, what led him to that point of going, so look, this is something that's important both to me and I think mm -hmm. to you know, a, a community that will maybe pay for some of this. So traditionally, we've always been vegetarian throughout our lives. And my grandfather was in the food business as well. So when he moved to Canada, one of my other aunts was in the food business as well. And she used to run an organic food eatery at that time as well. Uh, how much uh, of this was uh, the fabric in which you and your cousins and your mm -hmm. family sort of grew up. I mean, how much was this talked about within the family? We grew up in the business family. So even in India, my dad was a serial entrepreneur. He, he was running multiple businesses at any given time. And so when he decided to move to Canada in 1998, and then organic food business was something that resonated with us because he got to work with his brothers and he got to do something uh, by adding value to the society while, while he could uh, feed his family. How we bring in new ideas is we go to a lot of trade shows all over the world to see how the, what the trend is, especially most of the trends start in North America. So we go to the, all the shows in the, North Amer in the United States region to get where the ideas are coming from. So when I was growing up, my father never wanted me to go into the family business. He Did he say that or was it just... He was, he was very blunt about it actually. He said, <laughs> You're not make sure here. you get your education because the doors of the business are closed for you. But one thing that he always used to say and he still says is that whatever you do in your life, have an entrepreneurial mindset. Yeah. We don't have a written thing in our office which says these are our values. You don't need it. Because right. <laughs> it's part of our DNA. Uh, number one value that is very dear to us is family and how you make the food. Because it's when you're selling food, it's the energy the, with the food is made. So you have to be very happy at that point to make a food. It's and then you sell. Yeah. Number two value is environment, of course. Uh, so all of our products that we make, uh, we make sure that the packaging style that we use, they use environmentally uh, friendly materials. So all of our almond butters and peanut butters, they're packaged in glass containers. So they can be recycled and people can reuse them again. Our bliss balls are packaged in corn containers, so they are biodegradable. Number three is whatever we sell has to taste good. Whatever we sell has to be healthy. And whatever we sell has to be uh, vegetarian. 